Debbie Davis with 3D Communications here, and this Social Media 101 how-to video is about managing your lists on Facebook. I'm going to show you how to make lists, and then I'm going to give you a couple of examples of how lists can be useful in managing that flow of information that's coming at you. Start out by going to your Facebook profile and clicking on Account and edit friends and this is where you're going to make some lists so that you can categorize all of your friends uh, depending on you know their interest or if they're family members or whatever that is so click over here on lists start out by clicking on friends and then you get the option of creating a new list create a new list now for this example I'm gonna just call this list um, cooking and I'm going to um, put on this list friends who cook and that I share maybe recipes with so that I can follow their conversations a little bit easier so I'll just put the name of the list in cooking click on create list and now I go through my list of friends and when I get to somebody who I want to add to that. I just click on the uh, the lists in the right hand column and choose cooking from there and she gets added to cooking and then I go and I find the next friend who is supposed to be on that list just scrolling down which is alphabetical by first name and I can add her to cooking. An easier way of doing this if you come over way over here to the left and you can type the name of a person that you want to add to that list and then her name will come up or his name click on the lists and add that person to that particular list now the reason one of the reasons that um, lists are so useful is I'll show you how you can listen very carefully now to just the people you want to at the time that you want to, to, uh, to listen to them you go to your home, come over here to the left hand side where it says friends and click on that and that will reveal, it'll reveal a short list of your lists but click on the more button and it reveals all of your list categories that you've made. So now if I just want to look at what conversations are going on among the people on my cooking list, I click on cooking and there most recent conversations come up here. Another way I use this um, is like when I want to follow what's going on with my family. I have one list called family and I'm going to have to scroll down further. And if I just click on family then I can see all of the conversations that are going on with all of my family members. And that makes it pretty easy to see what's going on. And then I also use lists when I want to send a message. If I'm going to send a message, come over here and click on messages. That takes me to what is essentially like an inbox on Facebook. And then I want to create a new message. And in the to box, I can type an individual's name or I can type the, the name of a list. Now I want to show you something here. If I put family in here, it says cannot add list and that's because to send a message out through this message center your list can only contain up to 20 people and my family list is really big so I might um, choose, a, I've got smaller categories for my family so I've got family cousins and family immediate and then I can send a note out just to them um, I just made that cooking list and if I just wanted to send a recipe perhaps to those people that I know that are interested in cooking then I would put the cooking list on there and let them know that I've got a new recipe and then I could type the recipe in there and send it. So those are two uses, listening and sending messages using lists. Now, I went through that pretty quickly, but just go ahead and rewind this videotape, and you can um, 
you can watch that all over again. If you think of other things that you would like to see demonstrated on video, contact me at, on my Facebook page at 3D Communications. And all of these how-to videos are also posted on the website at www.3dw.com.